What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Scribble Knots Unlimited. Today, as always, we just move on to the next area. This mineshaft-like place looks interesting. Uh, what's the underscore mine? Is that like a vampire hunter? Oh, Scribble Knots. Never devoid of interesting things in each level. So, let's get this party started. How do I... I guess I could give you a gas mask. That was easy enough. Whoa. I know I'm supposed to be fast, but I didn't think I'd be that fast. Hello, brother. Make them taste better. Hello, mushroom. You are now yummy. And apparently that somehow turns it into a pizza? Scribblenauts logic is not the most sound logic in the world. I feel like maybe I'm not supposed to be going down here or something? I don't know. There's all this stuff in the way. Let us make ourselves tiny. That should solve our problems. Help! Help! I really hope this works. I want this to work so badly. Melt you with my heat ray! Please work? Yeah. I'm glad that worked. Probably not quite as intended, but... Who cares? Hello, Mr. Vampire Hunter. Well... Best way to do that... Is probably with some form of mirror. Aha! Success! That's one dead vampire. But... Did he give me the shard? I guess he did. Yeah, there it is. So now, something to hunt the mighty mammoth? Oh, okay. The caveman dude over here has a quest for us as well. Not a quest, but a... He requires our help. Clearly you can hunt the mammoth with a fork. Can you not? Okay, fine. How about a laser fork? No? Okay, how about giant flaming laser chainsaw? Surely that should do the job. By God! It seems to be the most destructive item I've made yet. I'm pretty pleased with that. Ah, there is... Oh, okay, I can go down here. Center the camera. Is this just, like, an invisible box? I'm a fan of turning into a superhero. To hide his identity. Okay, how about a... Aw, oh, I can't just... A persona is supposed to be like those like Greek opera masks. Maybe I can just do the opera mask. Sure, an obese mask. It's not quite what I wanted, but it works. Whoa, I forgot. what's that say? Wardrobe fitting for a superhero. No superheroes. Well, I'm sure there are superheroes that use tuxedos, but not enough of them. Apply an adjective. Well, he can already fly, or normally he could. Success! That wasn't very hard at all. Although I must say that the tuxedo kind of clashes with the Roman sandals. Now if I wanted to, I... I think I could go beat the game right now, but... I don't want to, so there. Giant enemy spider. 
My question is, can we inflict massive damage upon it? Wait. Save me from the evil spider. She's made of ice. Okay. Giant flaming candle. Well, that seems to have done something. Whoa! I don't think that's quite how it works. Frozen iceberg. Whoa, that's bigger than I expected. I also don't think it did anything. Arctic breeze? Did that actually work? This is... Oh, oh I, I had it right, I just forgot the R. I mean, that's sort of working, except that... I can't, like... Spray far enough. Uh, can I just put this in here? Why does it keep going like inside the spider? Tiny waterfall. Success! Okay, that was a little more convoluted than I wanted, but... Oh, don't tell me it's made of water now. Oh, okay, she's made of stone. So, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to use that from in here, but... I, I guess if just dropping it on top it works, then it works. Oh, okay. Playtime's over. I am invincible, and I need a... weapon. Wow. That was a pretty impressive laser spoon. Now, to destroy the ba- oh god. Oh god. Kill them all! Good thing I'm flying. Well, that wasn't too bad. This area was actually quite quick. And with that done, let's get back to the area. We can move on. Abjad Dunes? That's. I, I like the the flow to that. It sounds very like there's a very smooth flow if you try and say those words in succession. Oh yeah, I'm tiny. Wow, this place is big. Well, let us start with this fellow. Why is help in quotation marks? Venomous ingredients. Okay, so do I have to, like, find them? I thought I told you to pick that up. There you go. Uh. Well, I guess I'll look around and see if I can find anything. Did either of them need help? That's weird. Can't catch him. If only he could measure this race. Uh, I, I'm not sure what you would measure a race with. Oh, well that works. Solve the paradox. I can't say I quite understand what the paradox there is, but whatever. 
Uh, impressed near the creating some unlikely weather. Thunderstorm! Did I really spell that wrong? Oh, that's so impressive! Thank you! Next up! Then have a chisel. Work your magic! Hmm. Yay! I'm not sure how this mime is speaking to me. Oh, uh, it's an interesting instrument to give him. Well, whatever. I've used the theremin before. I'll use it again. Whoa! What's he spitting? It was like spices. Okay. I thought they were like cans of beans or something. My statue is a bit lifeless. Alive. Cool. That did work, right? Okay. What is a cleric, huh? That doesn't seem like a very clericy thing to do. Frog. <laughs> that appears to have worked. So, got this fellow, Chase. Four legs in the morning, two at midday, and three in the evening. You know, I solved this riddle in a previous LP. Man! Have a man. Now, there's the one guy that says something about poisonous things, so... Are there poisonous things strewn about this level, or... Do I just have to put poisonous things in his pot? I don't really see anything. Okay, how about a spider? Snake. And... Scorpion. Those are all venomous. Why is he all, like, bumpy now? Well, he's scaly, but... Why'd that not work? Hmm. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to figure that one out later. For now, there is a quest over here. What are you? Desert Raider, huh? So, solve this problem. I'm getting a little tired of Legionnaire Maxwell. Or I guess he's not Maxwell, but whatever. You get the idea. Am I helping the... Desert Raiders? Oh, I can't pick an avatar mid-quest. Okay, so... That's not what I wanted to make at all. Recruit help. I don't know. Some bandits? Or do I have to, like, talk to these guys or something? It's a hut. Okay, so I am helping the, the dudes. How about a police officer? Hmm. Uh, did that not work?
Superhero. Mm. There we go. That did it. Oh, that's a mighty big sword. Now what? An engineer has come by to has come to the building by building fortifications. Okay. Giant stone wall. <laughs> Just drop it on their head. <laughs> wow, those are quite the fortifications. Uh, report someone who can instruct them. Martial artist. Are they like destroying the wall now? They're like fighting back against the wall. That's funny. Whoa! That guy's got like a buster sword. Like perhaps a spy? Oh. Or the police officer could just know how to turn invisible? Whoa, what the heck? What's with me? I've got like camo on. Um... Yes, okay, let's have a butter sword. Clearly the optimal weapon. Oh shoot, these guys have guns? Quickly, destroy the wall! I don't even know who I'm fighting. That's okay, they seem to have done it for me. And that is Star Ride number 63! Hmm. So... I will figure out what the heck I'm supposed to do for this guy. And catch you back here on the next episode of Let's Play Scribblenauts Unlimited. Catch you later.